hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Susie, and thank you so much for joining me in today's video i'll be deep cleaning my bathrooms and bedrooms i'll also be giving my kitchen a really good wipe down because i will not be doing any deep cleaning in the kitchen because in today's video i just wanted to focus more on the other rooms i love 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 how everything turned out and i cannot wait for you to see it in just a little bit if you enjoy cleaning and organizing related videos please make sure to stay tuned till the end so you can see the before and after also please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so you're notified whenever i post a new video so the purpose of today's video is to give you tons and tons of cleaning motivation so please feel free to join me and let's get cleaning So today's video we are starting off in the laundry last night i put in a load of my white bed linen that i had changed on the weekend and didn't get to wash because it was raining so i put that in the washing machine and it was running overnight and the first thing that i wanted to do this morning was to just take that out and hang it on the line and while that was drying i put another load in the washing machine After I was done with hanging the washing I went straight into the kitchen and made myself some breakfast I made an omelette with kale and some cherry tomatoes and I added a bit of ham I had some smoked ham in the fridge and I also made myself a strong cup of coffee I just wanted to start this day on a full stomach because I had loads of cleaning awaiting So the first thing that I wanted to do was to give this bed frame a deep clean while there was still time. I wanted to do it first thing in the morning so that I give it time to air dry. This bed was really filthy guys. Like the frame was so filthy, especially the headboard part. It was so filthy. It was even beginning to get shiny. So to clean this bed frame today, I will be using my Bissell Sport Cleaner. I love, love, love this machine. It does a really good job when it comes to deep cleaning your carpets, your bed frame, your couch, everything in your house. It's really good. So I will be using this today and my cleaning solution is finished. I didn't buy another one once the one that came with the machine was finished because it's quite pricey so the machine has two tanks the other tank is for the clean water that you use to clean your couch or whatever you're cleaning and the other one is for the dirty water so for my own cleaning solution i like to add my scented beads the ones that i use for my laundry because they smell amazing so they leave whatever i'm cleaning smelling really good i then go in with some warm water the machine comes with the manual which does state the temperature of the water that you have to use you do not have to exceed a certain temperature and i go in with a few pumps of my dishwashing liquid i then close up the tank and i put it back on the machine i've tried sometimes but you're making me nervous no i've realized that i 
So the machine does come with a few different attachments so for cleaning this bed frame today i'll be using this deep stain tool which is really good for getting the dirt that will be deep within the bed frame or couch or carpet or whatever that it is that you will be cleaning so i'll be starting with the headboard side so as you can see this purple button is the one that releases the water on the attachment so i will be pressing that button and i will be brushing at the same time then once i feel that it has released enough water i then release the purple button and i just keep brushing and after i finish brushing i then go ahead and push the attachment against the bed frame and it will suck out all the water and i'll keep doing that up until i've sucked up as much water as i can or at least up until i cannot see water coming out so that means that i've gotten rid of all the amount of water that's inside and all the excess water so it will allow it to dry really quick and once i'm done with that i'm just going to leave all the windows open so that it can air dry usually it takes at least three to four hours for it to dry but i'm just going to give it a little bit longer than that because i want to make sure that it is completely dry I do hope these cleaning videos that I share with you guys bring you all the motivation that you need to clean around your house, do whatever it is that you need to do on your list without really giving you too much pressure because I would hate for you to feel like you're not good enough because you're not cleaning like I am doing. I really don't want you to feel pressured. The sole purpose of my videos, like I said, is to keep you motivated and by recording these videos, I also stay motivated to keep my home clean. So if you're just watching this today, just to get yourself motivated for later, get yourself nice and comfortable because you are definitely going to enjoy this. So this is the water that I use to clean the bed frame. As you can tell, it's quite filthy. And the thing is, your naked eye wouldn't see how dirty this frame is up until you clean it. So uh, it's a good thing for you to look out on your bed frames if your bed frame is made out of fabric like mine. Once you start seeing that shine come out of the frame, that's, that's a sign that your frame is dirty and it's true for cleaning. Especially if it's a dark color, it won't show. In my bedroom, I have an oatmeal color, so I usually tell if that's dirty. So I just chucked that dirty water in the laundry sink, gave the tank a really good clean with my microfiber cloth, and I just left it to air dry while I went to tackle my next task. So the next thing that we'll be cleaning today is the main bathroom. As you can see, it's quite untidy. There's a lot of things in this bathroom. I did film a reel last night and I just didn't get a chance to actually... I was just too lazy to clean everything up because I knew I was going to be cleaning today. As you can see, there's a bit of mold going on there and uh, down there, there's lots of soap scam that I haven't really gotten a chance to clean. I usually deep clean my bathrooms once every three weeks and I'm not going to lie to you, it's been a while since I've deep cleaned this particular bathroom because I, I don't use it. So it's quite filthy and for the shower today, I am going to be going in with this shower cleaner. You don't need to scrub, you just spray it and leave it on for five to ten minutes but i'm going to be leaving it a bit longer than that because i'm just going to spray and leave it on while i clean the rest of the bathroom and i'll come back to it later
I then went ahead and got everything out of the way, putting back everything in its place. And then I went in with this Jif Cream Cleanser just to clean the bathtub. I really love this cleaning cream because it's got a bit of texture to it. So it's really good for getting rid of all the dirt from your ceramic stuff, especially your bathtub, your toilet or your bathroom sinks or even your floors i like to use this particularly in my bathrooms One thing that I like to do to motivate myself to clean is to buy my favorite cleaning products and getting myself cleaning equipment. I find this makes cleaning enjoyable and effortless for me. So to clean the walls today, I am going to be using this jewel bucket from Subco. It's got two sides, the wet and the dry side. And the dry side is for drying them up without me touching it. And the long handle allows me to clean my walls, which are quite high, as you can see. In my cleaning water, I'm going to be adding some dishwashing liquid, just a little bit because you don't want to put too much. And I am also going to be adding some soft flora. I love, love soft flora. And this particular scent smells really amazing. It's called Midnight Blooms. And I love soft flora, guys, because I actually feel like it's cheaper because it smells good and it also disinfects the area at the same time so you are paying for two things in one product how good is that so i am just going in with that that's just gonna leave my bathroom smelling amazing And for the toilet, I went in with that same GIF cream cleanser that I use for the bathtub. I love this stuff, guys. It really leaves the area squeaky clean. It leaves it squeaky clean and shiny. So I used it for the inside and I also used it on the outside. I brushed with my toilet brush inside and on the outside, I just used my microfiber cloth. Keep wishing you would kiss me under city Also went ahead and removed the toilet seat guys you will not believe the amount of dirt that was on those hinges so i also gave them a really good clean as well before i put back that toilet seat and i also gave the seat a really good clean because i find like there's some areas that i can't reach when the seat is always attached I then went ahead to clean all the silverware in the bathroom, which is the toilet paper holder, the taps, and the towel holder. I used a little bit of the soap scum remover, which I normally use in my shower. I cleaned that with my microfiber cloth, and then to shine it, I then used my paper towel. Once I was done, I went on to clean the mirror and to clean the mirror, I am using this Kacha vacuum. It's a window vacuum. It has two things. It's got this one with different attachments and you put soap in this bottle, you spray it on the mirror and then you scrub. Then after that, you go in with the vacuum and the vacuum is an electric vacuum. So no batteries, you charge this thing and i always keep it on charge and then i take it off when i am using it it doesn't take time because it's electric so i really love that for myself like i said i love these gadgets guys if you can it's really good that you invest in these things 
they may be quite expensive but in the long run they save you time but if you do not enjoy cleaning guys do not i know there's people that enjoy watching these videos just for motivation purposes and that's okay so for cleaning this sink i just went in with that same cleanser that i use for the bathtub in the toilet and i used that to clean my sink and the tap and i used a paper towel to shine the tap to make sure it's nice and clean I then went in with this scrubber in the shower this is also an electric scrubber it does look like a toothbrush it rotates and it makes cleaning mold really easy so I used that to brush off all the mold that was in the shower also removed this rubber thing that's on the shower door and that's on the frame this stuff was really dirty guys it was so filthy underneath there i haven't taken that out in a while so i also used that same brush to scrub in there and wiped it off with my microfiber cloth For the shower area i went in with one of my favorite cleaning tools that i have i love uh, this electric scrubber it's really good it has a long handle which makes reaching hard areas really easy and because it's electric guys it's gonna take half the time if not a quarter of the time that it would actually take me if i were to scrub with a hand brush that was going to take me a long time so i love this because it really 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 scrubs well and it takes me less time so it does make cleaning easy i really love this brush and i just use dish soap as well i love dish soap for a lot of things i use it in my bathroom a lot so i went in with that and it gave my bathroom a really good clean After rinsing the shower screen with water, I then went in with that window vacuum as well and I just started to vacuum the shower screens and for the walls in the actual shower area, I also went in with that flat mop just to make sure they were nice, clean and dry. that i went in to clean the cabinets with my multi-purpose cleaner and this specific one i'm using is from method and it is grapefruit scented i love it it smells really amazing i love anything that smells citrusy i love it so this smells really amazing i also use the same one in my kitchen as well because i just love the grapefruit scent for the floors i went in with that same scrubber that i used to clean the shower area i love that this brush gets into the grout and it really cleans the grout leaving it nice and clean and it gets rid of all the dirt on the floor so i just put a little bit of that 
cream cleanser that i used for the bathtubs the toilet and the sink i put a little bit of that on the floor you don't want to put too much product especially on the floor because people may slip and fall so i just put a little bit and i added some water and i just started scrubbing after i finished scrubbing i went in with my mop and for my mop i also like to use this one that i don't wring with my hands so i just use the bucket which does ring the mop for me So that's it i am done with my first bathroom now we are moving on to to the end suite bathroom and for this bathroom i just started off by tidying everything putting everything back where it belongs and because i'm doing the same thing i am not going to be talking much i'm just going to play some music you enjoy that while you watch what i'm doing i just want you to see this process i didn't want to skip it because this is all part of motivating you to clean or motivating you to get up and do whatever it is that you feel like doing and for the bathroom i also started by washing the bath mats because i wanted those to dry while i was cleaning the house i actually forgot that's the first thing that i should have done before i started cleaning but anyways let me stop talking and just leave you to watch the process I quickly just wanted to show you what i had for lunch because i took a break before i started cleaning the second bathroom so i had myself this nice salad it's a tuna salad so it's got some tuna and olive oil lots of spinach and some boiled eggs and i also have some ricotta cheese with a little bit of mustard and some chili flakes and i have an avocado my avocado was about to go bad but i wasn't going to throw that away so that's all that i had for lunch i'm on this low carb diet which i'm just trialing not for a long time i just want to reset my body and i am planning on doing this for at least two weeks then i see how i go after that but yeah this is what i had for lunch Now that i'm done cleaning i am just putting everything back into its place and i am just wiping down everything i am putting back this marble tray that i keep my candle and my hand washing liquid and on the other side i have that candle hole which i put some coffee beans in and a candle like i've mentioned in my other video which i was talking about how to keep your bathroom nice and smelling good the coffee beans absorb all the odors in the bathroom so that's why i just like to keep them i change them every now and then but not very often so i am just putting that back and wiping down the cabinets and i am just gonna do the floors and i'll be done
while the bathroom floors were drying i just went ahead and started vacuuming the bedroom carpets So my bedroom is the only one that has uh, these mirrored closets. I really hate uh, these mirrors, but it wasn't too much of a job because I've got my vacuum. This window vacuum makes cleaning mirrors and windows so easy. So I went ahead and used it to clean the mirrors. And the other bedroom, which I didn't show here today, has got shutters, like wooden shutters. And those are the worst to clean. I hate them. So I didn't clean them in this video. I will clean them in another video. And you will see how I clean because I like to do a dedicated video on how to clean your shutters. Once you travel the world, all the spaces inside your heart. Now that we've got all the cleaning stuff out of the way, I would like to know how you guys have been doing, what you've been up to. If you are getting motivated with these cleaning videos, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know what you will be cleaning next or if you've already started cleaning something in your house. Just let me know in the comments down below. I would really like to know. And if you're still watching this video, thank you so much for watching till this far. And please do not forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video. You can also follow me on my Instagram page where I share all my live updates. I share how I do my daily stuff. My Instagram handle is all things underscore Suzy Q. I'll make sure to link it in the description box below as well. So I am just cleaning my floorboards and I'm cleaning those frames of the closets. I also went ahead and cleaned my window sills. You saw the dust that was there. That was a lot of dust. I haven't done that in a while. So I'm just making sure to clean that. My closets are still a mess. It's been about four to five months since I moved into this house and I haven't really finished decluttering some of the things that i don't need and some of the things that i want to give away i also need to do a video of how i organize my closets be sure to be subscribed and you'll see that as soon as i post it I also wanted to give you a close-up look of how dusty my surfaces are as you can see it's really dusty and to clean up the dust i usually go in with my dusting microfiber cloth this one is an orange one and as you can see it's really fluffy and that really helps to pick up all the dust before i go in with any cleaning solution this one is specifically for dusting i love love this stuff i have four colors i think i have a blue one that's dedicated to glass i have a stainless steel one and I've forgotten the other color, but I really love uh, these clothes. They are really helpful. All the different colors have different textures to tackle all the different cleaning needs. So I just went ahead and wiped down the whole area, including my perfumes and the tent table that has the perfumes, as well as my chest of drawers. After that, I went in with my multi-purpose cleaner to disinfect all the areas and to just keep them clean and smelling nice and fresh. But your aura passed me by, losing balance What if we were out of time and second chances? Empty-handed You like the fast life You like the drive, get down and dirty like, like, like I You want some love, you like when you feel like calling me mm, You got the best of me You got me losing sleep
now that the cleaning was done it was time to put everything back to where it belongs so for my trash can i like to put some cotton pads with just a few drops of the Zoflora because it smells nice. It keeps everything smelling nice. I like to do this hack in my kitchen and in my bathrooms as well. So if you don't have Zoflora, you can also use your essential oils. Your favorite essential oil works just as well. So for my bathroom i just went ahead and picked up the scent of the week that i just wanted to use and i put that up in my bathroom you may have seen in my previous videos that i had some nice decanting bottles for my body wash conditioner and shampoo because i like being practical i think that didn't work for me anymore because i'm always recording videos like shower routine videos so that didn't work well that wasn't practical me having the bottles because i'm always switching up my products every time i record a video so that's the reason why i haven't got that but i highly suggest decanting if you're someone that's not constantly switching up your body care products like i do Halfway hard Halfway hard Sing to me if I lose my voice Set a better route if I lose my course Count on my company and I will come Save me when I am falling Now it was time for me to bring the laundry inside i went ahead and brought that laundry inside the house and i put another lot on the lines just so it would dry overnight after i finished that i just went ahead and started doing my kitchen and making dinner because it was quite late i think it was around four For the kitchen i didn't do much i just packed my dishwasher and cleaned the surfaces just so i could start with dinner i didn't do much because i was going to be giving it a sort of a deep clean tomorrow so that's the reason why i didn't do much i just wanted it to be tidy enough so i could start with making dinner
so for dinner i made this chicken stir fry which had lots of veggies and it was so nice it tasted really amazing i love making such things if you are on a diet and other members of the family are still indulging in carbs it's easy for them to make a side which is carbs like you know they can make rice potatoes on the side or pasta and you can both still enjoy without fussing on what can i cook that everyone else can eat morning guys so today is day two yesterday i didn't catch up with you i was so tired i actually ended up finishing around three o'clock four yeah i ended up cleaning around 3 30 and i was just so tired i couldn't come back to give you an update but i finished doing the bathrooms and both bathrooms and all of the bedrooms all the bedrooms are done so this morning i just thought i'm um, come and catch up with you and let you know what i'm up to so uh, this morning i am i'm quickly gonna turn around the camera in a minute but i'm just going to finish off my kitchen my kitchen is not too dirty given it's something that i'm always cleaning like i always deep clean my kitchen once a week but this morning i'm just gonna quickly do this stove and i'll show you that i need to do this stove quickly and just and just wipe all the actually let me turn the camera around and i show you okay so uh, this is what we are working with i'm just going to clear the countertop and clean the stove clean the sink and just wipe all the cabinets just outside do the floors and the stove it's actually not too dirty so I'm not even going to deep clean this stove because I always deep clean it and in the laundry I am just going to put everything where it belongs the washing machine is actually running so I'm going to quickly put everything where it belongs and yeah just clean up these are all the clothes that I've been using to
So for my stove, I didn't do much. I just went in with my Astonish cleaner. This one is specifically for degreasing. So I used it on the stove. I just sprayed it, left it on for a few minutes, and I sprayed all the other attachments, and I left them for a few minutes. Then I just wiped them down with my microfiber cloth. After that was done, I just wiped off the splash bag, and I just went ahead and cleaned the bench top as well as my coffee machine it needed a wipe down because that hasn't been done all week so i went ahead and did that I also went ahead and gave the exterior of my fridge a wipe down using my method grapefruit scented multi-purpose cleaner. Like I said, the kitchen really didn't have much that needed to be done. So I just went in with my multi-purpose cleaner, the same one that I have been using. I used that to wipe down all the doors of the cabinets, especially under the sink and under the stove. Because those ones tend to be greasy when you're cooking and the build up just makes it quite messy. And under the sink when you're doing dishes, the water splashes just tend to build up on the doors as well so i just went ahead and gave those a really good wipe down before i started doing the floors so i have a tip guys if you're doing your kitchen floors especially the kitchen floors you could do this to all your floors but the kitchen floors tend to get really greasy and messy so after sweeping i just go in with my floor cleaner i spray it on and leave it on for a few minutes it does the job and when you come back to mop it just takes off the grime so effortless give this a try and for the kitchen floors guys no matter what i always use boiling water 
I use boiling water because uh, that does the job and I like boiling water because it dries up the floors really quick and for mopping the floors today I am also going in with my Sapco spin mop they sent this to me so I am just enjoying it it's really really amazing I always knew that you were stubborn but didn't know it'd be so hard to figure out who you really are Here I just wanted to quickly show you all the dirt that we got from vacuuming the whole house during the two days that I was cleaning. I started off with a clean vacuum. I didn't realize my battery was dead but I went ahead and mopped the whole area and uh, that was it because the last thing that I do when cleaning is do the floors so uh, that's it guys I really hope you enjoyed uh, this video and it was motivation enough to get you started or to just think about doing something around your home remember do it on your own pace do not feel pressured do what's enough for you and don't get pressured thank you so much for watching this video guys but before i go i just wanted to quickly show you the bed the results because i forgot to do that yesterday i just went ahead and made the bed but this is how the bed turned out after everything was dry i think this was pretty good i love the results so uh, that's it guys thank you so much for joining me and thank you so much for your support the channel is growing the views are rising thank you so much for your endless support i am always grateful do not forget to click that subscribe button and share the videos with someone that you think needs this motivation you don't have to wake up yet oh, we can spend all day in Marathon, KG saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food I'll put your favorite music on All the way baritone oh, yeah. Shut the lights, go in front of Okay.
Put your favorite music on all the way baritone Shut the lights go in front Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door oh, You don't have to wake up yet oh, We can spend all day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix Marathon, KG saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food I'll put your favorite music on All the way baritone yeah. Shut the lights, go in front Spend all day in